Hi everyone, good morning. Big day today. We're going outside and we are going to be changing the fan. The, the fan clutch, the fan, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the water pump also. the joys of being back at grandma's house. That's a muskrat. There's usually a couple of them living in this pond here. <laughs> this is the first time he's seen it. I don't know how you're gonna get him left. He's on the other side of the pond. He's on the other side of the pond. Oh, He's gonna go dip. Oh, I know. I know. Okay, now you got yourself wrapped around the pole, knucklehead. Here, over here. Now this way. Over, no, no, no. This way. Come here, come here, come here. Now this way. Come on, he's gone. He's back in his home now. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, those are, uh... Muskrats, we call them around here. And they live in little houses that they <coughs> underwater entrances to. And so we usually see them around here. Last year there was a couple of baby ones. And it's usually, like I see a lump of stuff right there. That might be one of their houses. That lump over there might be one of their houses. But you can see he just went underwater and disappeared. So they're good swimmers. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, you know what that means, right? Yeah, you getting excited? That means it's truck parts. Well, as usual, I go to film out here and the landscapers are here today. So hopefully they move past our area pretty quickly here. So I'm just getting ready to do the draining. So yesterday I stopped up to see my buddy Tim. And Tim dusted off his his kit this is the tool kit for changing out these clutches these clutch fans so you can see that's the one the right size for this one so I said get get over there and dust that thing off and let me borrow it you know because he they don't they don't use these kind of tools anymore because you know he probably hasn't used this thing in what, 20 years since they've been using electronic fans, electric fans. So he, uh, he dusted it all off and gave me all the pieces. You know, that obviously is for spinning that nut. And then he said, this is for holding... Hey, hey. Left. Come on, brother. It doesn't even say Amazon. See, because he's supervising, he's pushing me to get the parts out and get, get to work. That's what he's doing. So I've got, where is it? I have a drain pan. So this one will hold 15 quarts, so almost four gallons. I can then pour off into this one. This is a six gallon. You know, we end up like, we ended up draining. It's just your grandma. Okay. Do you know that the whole neighborhood the whole neighborhood. Alright, I'm gonna pause the video at this point. 
Well, I'll tell you what, I had no idea that that fan was that big. This, this thing is huge. <laughs> very, very thick plastic, too. Heavy. That right there is 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, easily. I had no idea that this fan was that big. You know, you can't really see it when it's installed in the truck because it's covered with the shroud and all. But holy moly, that thing is big. And I did get a Dorman 620-158. It was, uh, I think it was like $65, $67, something like that. There's the clutch right there. Again, my buddy Tim, the tool, the other tools that are needed. I just opened the drain plug and I'm not in any hurry. I'm just gonna let it sit here and come back out here and check periodically. And uh, this thing will hold four gallons. So I am gonna have to pull this out, dump some of it off into here and then put it back under and continue because it won't hold all of it so I'll grab uh, I'll grab one of my big funnels you know this has a spout so I've got a big funnel that I can stick in there I'll pour off the contents of this and then just continue on so this is gonna sit here for quite a while draining So the supervisor is barking at me to get working on this. This is one of those projects that in my mind right now it's perfect, like everything's going to go fine, just like always, because I haven't really started. All I've done is drain fluid out. So you know how I am. It's all perfect in my head until I actually start working on it because that's when things can start to go south. I think the supervisor is probably going to be napping pretty soon, so maybe I'll, I'll get a break and he won't push me so hard. Okay, so we got to get a look at the supervisor, okay? That must feel so good. Sunshine, it's only like 62 degrees out here. I know that must feel awesome for him. You know, coming from where he couldn't go in the sun because it was 100 degrees. He is crashed, I mean hard. I had just given him his breakfast, you know, with chicken and everything in there, all mixed up warm and and I'm out here banging and slamming and working and he is just <laughs> <laughs> okay just coming up for a little breather we've got the radiators out the fan shroud is out I'm gonna give that a good cleaning it it's just grimy looking here's what we were what we really want to see so here's the fan when the the fan is disengaged like normally right now the engine you know is not warm at all this fan should be able to be rotated that's as much as I can spin it and when I had this issue when we were on the road and I pulled over to see what the heck was going on you know I shut the engine off I reached down in here and I grabbed the fan and I wasn't able to move it at all and that's that's how I knew that the fan was stuck so um, you know this should rotate freely I actually had to I've had to work this back and forth just to get it to move as much as it is and it, you know it's very crunchy and like I'm putting a lot of you see it's it's actually spinning the belts and all that and it should not be doing that it should be spinning freely 
Um, so, you know, it's stuck in the engaged position. And, you know, so everything just looks like a mess right now because I just pulled it out. So, you know, just spillage from the radiator and... Whoa, look at that. Yep, that's... You know what that is? That is for the block heater. Look at that. That's been rubbing against that pulley. So here's the plug that went to the block heater. It's all taped up now, but when I first got the truck, one of the first things I noticed under the hood was this plug. You know, and this is just your standard, uh, you know, 120 volt plug. It plugged into here. First thing I noticed was this showed signs of burning. Well, no wonder, because this was grounding out right on that pulley down here. I, I'm glad I saw that actually because um, I have a replacement cable for the block heater and if and if this is the only problem if the block heater itself is okay and all I need to do is switch out the cable I have this cable so the next step is getting this honker off of here so I didn't even think about the fact that I have to get the belt off, the serpentine belt. I've done that before. That's, you know, you put your, uh, you put your breaker bar right in there. That's a half inch drive square. You put your breaker bar in there, put a bunch of force on it to um, release the pressure, and it puts slack in the belt, and then you're able to pop the belt off. So I've done it before. I can do it again. But man, this thing is stuck because it's spinning the whole the whole engine over when I turn it. And it should just spin freely. So I'm gonna get cleaned up and get something to eat. I'm real hungry. And that's about it for today. The bees are starting to come around. I've been shooing them away from me here, so it's that time of the year. I'm gonna get cleaned up and uh, get something to eat hungry and then tomorrow we'll get that that fan off of there and start putting everything back together it's really pretty simple to put it all back together getting that fan off is going to be you know that's going to be a first for me i've never done that before but i've got the tools from my buddy tim so i should be able to do it oh, oh, oh. Oh. It's all that sneezing, huh? You so goofy. What? You know we got work to do on the truck today, right? We got work on the truck. Make sure you put your supervisor hat on, okay? Yeah. You gonna supervise, huh? Yesterday you did a good job. You slept in the cab while I did all the work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of, oh, you're getting warmed up for your supervisor work. That's kind of the position you were in yesterday. Hi, everyone. Good morning. I'm just down here at the town park for an early morning walk. I just went up to talk to my buddy Tim about the struggles I'm having with getting the fan clutch off. It's hard to explain because it's the van 7.3 fan and not the pickup truck 7.3 fan. It's designed differently and you don't have access to the fan clutch nut in the van version. It's hidden up inside the fan basically. So you can't just reach the wrench straight down in like you would in the pickup truck and spin that thing off. Pickup truck, I'd be done already. 
but this uh, because it's in the van and everything is crushed up in there hold on hold on okay uh, because it's in the van and everything is so tight it makes it a huge challenge and the toolkit that's made for doing this kind of doesn't work as designed because it's in the van uh, I got a pause video Dude, what are you doing? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Left. Give me the box. Hey, give me this. Give me the box. Come on. Why you, why you always got to run up? God, I just opened it. Goodness. I was putting it in the recycle bin, and he came over here and grabbed it and ran off with it. I am so happy. You're not going to believe. <laughs> I just got the fan off. I can't believe I got this thing off. Took off the belt and the upper radiator hose just to give me a little bit more room. When I went to my buddy Tim up at the shop this morning and he explained that you use this tool on those bolts right there to hold the water pump in place right then you have to use this tool to then reach down in to get onto that nut but it's so far recessed because this is the van once I had this in there I'm like there's there's no way how am I gonna there's no room because this is so seized, I just spun the fan and it cracked loose. Of course, I got a few injuries. I, it took me a few tries. But normally, you know, this is supposed to be spinning free. But because this is so seized to the... The clutch is so seized. Sorry, I'm so excited I can barely talk. <laughs> I just grabbed the fan blade and spun it and boop, it cracked loose and spun right off. I, I can't believe, cause I've been, I've been kinda grinding about this for like a day and a half trying to figure out how the heck I'm gonna get this done. I can't believe I just got that off. One thing I did do, oh boy, hey. You just asked to go inside. Now you want to come back out? Come on. Hi, Rylan. Come on, left. You want to come out? Come on. You want to come outside? Come on. You can't stay in here and bark. Come on, buddy. Come on outside with me in the garage. It's a little chilly, I think. That's why he was wanting to come back in. I probably, like, I'm, I'm a little cold right now. I probably should have long pants on. It's early in the morning. It's going to be like 65 today, but it's definitely not yet. Come on, pup. Come on outside. Come on. All right. Well. But I took a I took a couple minutes to make a diagram of my belt because my sticker that used to be, you know, on the plastic shroud there, that sticker disintegrated a while back and it had the routing for the belt so I wanted to make sure I had that documented before I popped the belt off so I just put maybe 30 minutes of work this morning and got the fan off see this is supposed to spin you know there is some resistance but I'm able to spin it because that's so seized to this, and this was bolted to the fan, I was able to crack it loose without even having to use the other tool. So that's just a miracle, <laughs> an absolute miracle. So now I've just got to get those four bolts, reuse them here to bolt the clutch to this fan, and then I can start reassembly. Excellent. I, I got it off because I've been just talking about this with mom for the last couple days like 
how am I going to do this? How am I going to get it? I can't get the tools in there. And I just got that thing off. I went running in there. I'm like, I got it off. <laughs> He, I tried to get him to come out, he won't come out.